Hey, good afternoon, More Medic One. Today we're working on the old test mule once again, and as you can tell, I got a burned out headlight. And the good folks down in Oxbeam uh, sent me a uh, some headlight replacements. They're the 1156, I believe. Yep, the 1157's got the dual contacts on the back, and the 1156's are your basic trailer lights I guess you would say but they just use that uh, single filament bulb for headlights on these tractors and we're going to replace them with uh, LEDs and uh, we'll see how it turns out once you get them out of the package they've got this protective styrofoam coating and I'll show you what the bulb looks like these are a lot better than some of the ones I bought in the past for trailer lights they're a little bit longer and I'm hoping that they'll fit but as you can tell, the amount of LEDs and, and also in the end of the bulb, these ought to be bright. So, let's get them installed. Y'all are probably wondering, more medic, why do you use a junky old Murray riding lawnmower? Let me tell you what. Parts are cheap. The decks are a little thin, but they level good. You can level them and make them work, and they cut a good yard. And I've only got an acre out here, so one of these days, if I decide, I may uh, get me a zero turn, but I just don't need it. Basically, what you want to do is uh, get to your lights. This particular, like I say, this particular model, you just turn the, you just cam the hood forward, and you get to them real easy. Just pop your sockets out. Uh, here. pull your bulb out there here's a side-by-side -side comparison when it gets a little darker we're gonna uh, do a, a drive-by and we're also going to get on the machine and just see how much better it will light up the yard I normally don't go at night but sometimes you need to pull a trailer around back or maybe the, the trash needs to go to the road because you just forgot about it Murray built these mowers to run uh, just a, I think it's like a maybe a three or four amp charging system and it's, it's unregulated so whenever the engine's idle down you're in, you're not getting full 12 volts uh, to your lights as you can tell this one's flickering a little bit. Just wait till it gets dark and see how they look. Pretty stoked about these lights. Check these guys out on uh, Amazon. This is where uh, I believe they ship their uh, products from. I believe that's what the lady told me on the uh, on the email that I got. Like I said, this is an 1156, and it's the white. www.oxbeam.com and the part number is 7002586 made in china this is not a uh, paid uh, sponsored video it's they sent me some bulbs and and i promised that i'd do a video so
I don't know if you can tell from the video or not, but they're they're kind of flickering. That's because this charging system doesn't run off of the battery. It runs off of the alternator, which is unregulated. And so basically it has the most simple charging system that there is. You just basically have a diode and an AC uh, stator that puts out AC volts and, but you only use one, you know, one side of that AC to get your, uh, I think it's like two to three amps of uh, DC current. So whenever you rev it up, the lights get brighter. And uh, a lot of people don't realize that that is a good indication of whether or not your charging system is working on a Murray Rider or uh, any other piece of equipment that runs the lights off of the uh, AC side or once one of the leg of the AC on the stator. So, if you have any questions about uh, LED lights, this was an awesome upgrade actually. And they're bright. But anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. More Medic 1.